welcome back guys so the open beta for diablo part 4 has gone live just a few hours ago in this video i'll be showing you its gameplay running on my steam deck this is steam os i've already shown you how to install battle.net launcher on it using steam itself using the launcher we will be downloading and running the game now for the purpose of running diablo part 4 i'll be using g proton as the compatibility layer this is the version 7-53 it's the latest one at the time of filming i've already installed diablo part 4 you can see an update is available for it if you haven't installed it yet just click on diablo part 4 from here click on the drop down icon and select diablo part 4 beta not the main game version after selecting the beta install option will be present here in my case it's update I have installed the game on an internal SSD SK Hynex PC711. You can install it on an SD card as well, entirely up to you. Let me update it. Its download size is around 40 GB. Just don't install the HD texture pack. It's for people who want to run the game at 4K resolution ultra settings. Now playable. There is a message here. We are expecting exceptionally high players volume during Typhlus 4 open beta weekend. Login queue times may be longer during peak play times this weekend. Can't do anything about it. Let's hope for the best. The GPU is being not supported. Just click on OK. Game should start. Yeah, it started. I'll show you the performance tab. Overlay level set to 3. Frame rate limit set to 60. Not using any of the settings from here. Oh my god, 68 minutes left. Queue time. Time to edit the video. Alright, I'm back after an hour. You can see the remaining battery percentage, 66. Now I'm playing the game for the first time. It may stutter due to shader cache compilation. We'll see. Start game. These are the game settings. First, I'll be running it using the low preset. Resolution set to 800p. Game does support FSR 2. Vsync disabled from here. I have set the preset of FSR2 to quality. Just scroll down. Most of the settings here are set low. Clutter quality set to medium. These effects have been enabled. Okay, let's start the game. From here I can select the class of my character. I'll go with Barbarian. Body type. Stick with the default character. Okay, so from here I can enable the Hardcore mode. Hardcore heroes die permanently. So I won't be enabling it. Enter the name of my character. Enable the virtual keyboard by pressing the Steam and X keys together. There you go. Alright, now I can control my character. Need to find shelter in a nearby town. Game supports controller. Unlike Diablo Part 3, Combat Air. We are getting around 60 FPS here. Very high GPU is it? 90%. Farmers may go down in the town area. We'll see. I made it to the town. Another abandoned town. Abandoned. Everywhere. in the dark. Strange voice. He bit me. Careful. He's a wild one. Found the people. 
Spring on What's it. it you? Also in hush. I'm sorry, wanderer. You've come at a difficult time. This madman just stumbled into town and started causing trouble. Demons spilling from the ruins. Kill us all. Kill us all. Ruins. What is he talking about? Come, I'll explain. And follow them. Money. There is evil staring in the ruins to the north. That poor monk back there must have gone inside. Even a holy man like him was driven mad by whatever he saw. A few hiccups. We'll do what we can for him. Might have to keep him in the shed for now though. He tried to bite off Oswin's fingers. Talking about the mob. Could you protect us from whatever is out there? We have nowhere else to turn. No one should live in fear. I will cleanse the old ruins of evil. Truly? Oh, thank you. Need to go to the ruins. Skills. Okay. Which one just killing it? Potion. They are automatically picked up when not at max capacity. Alright. Gazelle. Undead. Enter the runes. I'll just increase the setting. Use the medium preset now. Change is saved. Even here, FPS is around 60. Very high GP usage, almost hitting the GP bottleneck. Already at full life. Oh, my God. 
picked up a new item. Let's check it once I'm done with these skeletons. Going down finally. Hand X. Dungeons. Chamber of Calling. The objective complete finally. Taking a lot of damage, need to be careful. Slow on HP. Yeah, it's down. I kept on using the potion. back outside yeah a few of these drops here So guys the game went very nicely, FPS mostly stayed around 60 using the low settings 
using the medium settings fps was within a range of 40 to 60 definitely playable a few setters due to shade attacks this should not occur again when i play the game next time now i have set the fsr quality to performance medium preset find the hermit's cabin image quality is still decent alta few hiccups the game is definitely playable on steam deck Using performance FSR setting really helps in sustaining 60 FPS. There are a few hiccups here and there, most probably due to the shader cache compilation. I'll end the video here. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.